Hi, my name is Tyler Woods, and I'm going to show you Lesson 6-4 on Least Common Denominators. So, we're going to start off with just, uh, you know, one of the problems that I think is key to understanding how Least Common Denominators work. And we're not going to get into multiplying after we find that for rational equations. Uh, we're just going to just look basically at how to find Least Common Denominator in a fraction. So, let's look at... Problem number 41 in our math textbook, Algebra by McHugh and Littell, number 41, which is 3y over 2y minus 4. That's our first equation. And then our second is 1 over y squared minus 4. So immediately we see that y squared minus 4 is our uh, difference of squares. So right off the bat we know that our difference of squares is going to be the square root of 4, this number right here, and y. So and you're going to have minus and plus. So it's going to be y minus 2, because 2 is the square root of 4. Parentheses on both y plus 2. So we now know that whatever this number is, it's going to have to have one of these. So now we're going to get our first fraction, and 2y minus 4. So we're going to simplify that into, let's see, it's going to be um, 2y minus 2. So that's simplified there. So now we look and say, what are each of these missing? So we see that y minus squared here and y minus squared here. So this equation is missing y plus 2. So we multiply this by y plus 2. And now it's important to remember that you have to, what you do to the bottom, you also have to do the top. So if I multiply the denominator, by y plus 2, I also have to multiply the numerator by y plus 2. But then we'll do that. So, now that these are the same, we're going to go ahead and do this one. So, what are we missing here? Well, we're missing a 2. So, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2. And now we're, now we're just going to go ahead and solve. So it's going to be 3y, let's see, y plus 2. And that's going to be over our new least common denominator, our, our first least common denominator, which should be our correct one, which is going to be 2, right up here, of least common denominator, 2, y minus 2, y plus 2. So that's what it's coming down to. So we're going to go ahead and input this as a denominator. So again, 2, y minus 2, y plus 2. And then we're going to look here and see, okay, that needs to be multiplied. So 2 times 1 is 2. So maybe 2 over our least common denominator, which is, like we said before, 2, y minus 2, y plus 2. So this here is our answer, this equation. So this is how we're going to do the least common denominator. I hope you learned from this, and you can hopefully find success through this problem.